Yes, guys and girls, welcome back to another Fallout 76 script spending video. The last one of the year for me, and it's also the first one in a while as well, so I, I do appreciate I've been a bit slacking. I was out of the country for a while. Um, I'm stood outside of a bar, just as I normally am in real life. Um, I have 2,000 script to go into the purveyor. Literally 90% of, of viewers are probably thinking to themselves, Oh, you know what? Why, why is he spending script at the purveyor? He's so much better crafting legendaries using legendary crafting, blah, blah, blah. And do you know what I have to say to you guys? You're absolutely right. I do think that is the best way to do legendary guns, but I like the element of surprise and that doesn't appeal to my gambling nature. I want to have just as much RNG as possible. This is why I like spending script so much at the purveyor. So I'm going to continue spending script at the purveyor and also crafting legendaries as and when I can. But guys, I want to float a new idea to you. Uh, hopefully this idea, hopefully this idea kicks off. It might not, it might flop, but there is a website called falloutbills.com you may be familiar with it if you if you play fallout often you can you can go on there and you can find builds for example right so what i propose is every episode i have a featured weapon and what i want you guys to do then is to go and make a build for said features weapon and the one with the most votes because they you can vote on them as you can see here the one with the most votes for that gun i'll i'll make a build for and showcase it so for example if i make a build and call it if you make a build, sorry, and call it as a 23, and the featured weapon is a uh, a bloodied handmaid, for example, yeah. So I I click apply. There's no build there. So what you're gonna want to do, I'll give you a tutorial on how to use this website as well, because I'm a nice guy. You come up to builds. You must make sure you you sign up and and log in as well first of all, and you click uh, build planner. Sorry, you click build planner. Look at that. I'm forgetting myself. You create a build, let's go give him all this stuff. Uh, let's just give him one perk. He only needs one perk. Let's give him a legendary perk, ammo factory, uh, well fed, all this, all this, all this stuff. Make a build and then you have this, share your build. So what you're gonna wanna do is copy that. You can open this up in a new tab or you can just click builds, up to you. The URL will stay the same. And then you wanna click this here, Fallout 76 build guide. So. Fallout 76 character builds. For example, as a 23, a uh, bloodied handmade. That's your submission, essentially. You put your build planner URL in there. You type in whatever you want to type in there. You can even give a backstory to the character if you want. Just go, just go crazy, and you submit. So I'll just do. I'll just put. I'll put YT for YouTube, and I'll click submit. So now we have as a 23 bloodied handmade and I can view this build see I can see this everything we chose I can see this then if I go into builds and I search in I'll just search in as a 23 click apply filter and boom the build is there and people can vote on it and stuff so if I go into this uh, where's the voting thing here so I can give it a plus one or yeah so I can vote on it. Um, I know it's been three minutes already. That's quite a long intro before getting into the uh, into the script spending thing. But I, I do think this could be a fun idea. Uh, it might it might flop. It might not. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm quite excited by this. So wherever the featured weapon is on this video, hopefully a decent weapon. Just make a build. Call it as a 23 dash and in the gun and uh, and whichever one has the most votes, I'll I'll make a build for. So let's get back into the game. And actually spend said script that I've been talking about for three minutes. I'm really excited to be back in the uh, in the purveyor's bar of doom. Can't wait to try for a pie. It's been a while since I tried for a pie, guys. Hopefully luck will be on our side. Oh, there we go. That's the benefits of having a M.2 drive. We're in pretty quick. Right, let's try for a pie. Boom. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, of course we didn't get the pie. We never do. Right, to be fair, we have good luck. But there she is. I haven't seen you in a while. Ooh. Let's go in. Obviously, we got legendary power armor and stuff now, but I'm just same old me. I'm going in for 10 legendary ranged weapons. Let's go. Boom. First one. And it's an anti-armor short gamma gun. I very much doubt that's going to be the featured weapon of the, uh, of the video. Let's not talk about that one too much and keep it moving. We've got a suppressor's gauss shotgun. Um... Same thing that the, the perk does, it reduces your target's damage output by 25% for 5 seconds. We've got plus 50% VAT hit chance and VAT critical meters filling 15% faster. Not a bad gun if you ask me. 
not a bad gun. I don't mind that, to be fair. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Come on, come on, come on. We've got a Troubleshooters Crusader pistol, situational one, of course. Plus 50% to damage robots. Um, but uh, it does uh, it does explode, which is nice. And we get a plus one perception. We get instigating short lever action rifle. I have some great instigating lever, lever action rifle. I always say lever. Is it lever or lever? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. Um, nothing to really rave about though. there, to be fair. Nothing special. Oh, Ghoul Slayer's Fat Man. Now oh, that is a beast of a gun. Unfortunately, that is just script. Absolute script. A Hunter's Black Powder Pistol. We got the plus 50 damage to animals, which we're not first on. We get replenish action points of each kill and faster movement speed while aiming, so nothing great. This is where the people who are thinking, oh, I told them we should have done legendary modules and done it that way. They're, they're grinning right now. And I don't blame you guys. We got another lever action rifle, this time Hunters. 90, plus 50% VAT hit chance is always nice. 90% reduced weight is always nice. It's just that the first effect is pretty useless there. Well, it's not useless, it's useful against animals, of course. Uh, <laughs> next one, come on. We got two left after this one on this account. It's a troubleshooter submachine gun, but it is explosive. So we get that situational effect of the plus 50% damage to robots. We get a 15% faster reload and it is explosive. It's not bad. You know, it's not great. It's not bad. It's just an average gun, really. Two more in this account. Come on. A Medic's Cryolator. Wow, I actually really wanted that. Mind you, a 25% faster fire rate is nice on a Cryolator. Um, I'm not sure if you would be using it in VATS. I've, I've never used a Cryolator myself, so... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure whether VATS would be your go-to on that kind of thing. So I, d I don't think... For me, that's just a big steaming pile of script. And the last one on my first character, hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully it's the featured weapon. Hopefully it's amazing. It's a Juggernaut Tefla, Tefla, that's completely wrong, Tesla rifle. Damage increases as health increases. One of the new legendary effects are added in a couple months ago. Uh, bashing damage increased by 50%. Makes me want to throw up. What a terrible Christmas present that is. And your VAT critical meter feels 15% faster. So, um, not bad. The damage it's doing there is quite mental. 144. I am on a rifle build though, so uh, that does add to that. The Juggernaut Legendary Effect. Yeah, it's, it's alright guys. It's alright. But, that's the first half of the video. As always, we're going to switch over to my second character now. And we're going to get a perfectly preserved pie. And then we're going to get a God Rolled Fixer, of course. So, see you in a sec. Yes, guys, back at the purveyor now with my second character, Frank Castle, who we're all familiar with. In fact, I've just been turning Frank into a uh, into a mule character. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Look at the look at the amount of stuff I have on me. Ah, oh, I must have put them all in my stash. Never mind. <laughs> Let's try for a pie. Come on. Dun 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 dun. Ah, oh, of course we didn't get it. But that don't matter. That's not what you're here for. We're here for the the god rolls. Let's go. We got ten more. Yeah, 1018. Boosh, we got 10 more. Let's go. Start with a banger. Okay, we got an Executioner's Black Powder Pistol. We're getting plus 50% more damage when your target is below 40%. Not bad against big bosses. Bashing damage increased by 50%. And plus 50 damage resistance while aiming. Not a great gun, to be honest. I can't imagine where I'm going to use that. We get an Instigating Short Pump Action Shotgun with the double damage for the Instigating effect. That's not bad. Uh, bashing damage, it's just following us. It's stinking up the place. We need that bashing damage to just disappear, man. And our vast critical meter filling 15% faster. Uh, bit of a mix match on those effects there. Not really great for the weapon, if you ask me. Uh, oh, oh, hello. Hello, a quad flamer is nice. That could be a featured weapon, I'm telling you. That could be a very nice featured weapon. Um... The last round in a magazine having a 25% chance to deal 2 times damage. Not really sure how that would work with a flamer. And we also get 25% less VATS action point cost. Uh, I think that's a nice gun, to be fair. I do think that's a nice gun. It's a toss up between that and the Gauss rifle for featured weapons so far. But we still have 7 more rolls at the dice. Let's go, boom! We've got a Stalker's minigun. So if we're not in combat, we're going to do plus 100% VATS accuracy at 50% AP cost. Awful. You're not going to use VATS for this anyway. Last round in a magazine has 25% chance to deal 2 times damage. I'm not being funny. If the enemy is still alive at the last round of this magazine, then just run away. <laughs> and plus 1 perception. Awful. Awful, awful, awful. Let's, uh, come on. Let's bless me. Give me a nice one. Boom. Gore Slayer's Gauss Rifle. Uh, 
25% faster fire rate's nice. I think that actually speeds up the, the charge time, doesn't it, on, on this one. Um, and brakes 50% slower. That's that's not bad. That's not bad. And we also get the, the plus 50% damage to ghouls. It's not, it's not great. It's just a gun. It's just a normal script gun, if you ask me. We do get a bloodied explosive sniper. Wow. Short hunting rifle. If you turn that into a sniper rifle and... Uh, really really max out your perks using my uh rifleman build that i uploaded a couple of days ago go check that one out but honestly if you if you use this nicely you are looking at a very very nice gun here explosive and bloodied hmm that's very interesting i don't know that might be the best one we've had so far that might be the featured weapon we've got four more rolls let's go juggernaut short double barrel shotgun and it's explosive, not bad at all. Damage increases as health increases. You want to be a full health build while using this effect. Explosions is nice. The only thing is, it's a double barrel, so there's only two bullets. Um, for me, I like to have a quad double barrel. I actually have a quad explosive double barrel. It's insane, but less of that. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. That I think that stealth field is quite good because you're going to be reloading quite a lot. So if you do get that stealth field coming up, you can use it to your advantage while reloading. But yeah, I don't think that's the best gun yet for me. Oof. Oh, I thought that was an anti armor 50 cal then. Oh, I really thought that was an anti armor 50 cal. I was going to get gassed. We do have anti armor, but it's not a 50 cal. It's a grenade launcher. Uh, it's doing plus 50% VAT hit chance and faster movement speed while aiming. Those two cancel each other out. You're either getting one or the other there. So um, you're probably going to get the faster movement speed while aiming. I can't imagine using VAT for this. We've got two more. Come on. We haven't had a hand made or a fixer. We've got a Goman short flamer. Now that is good. A lot of people I know that use heavy gunner builds likes to use the Gourmand's uh, weapon. So it's plus 25% damage while aiming as well, which we're probably going to be doing. And plus one perception. That is another good flamer if you ask. Like as far as flamers go, that's a great flamer. We've got two great flamers so far. And we've got one more roll left. It's going to be a bloody 25-25 Gatling gun. I wouldn't have wanted the bloody 25, 25 Gatling gun anyway. Would have preferred a fixer. Uh, we get an Assassin's Black Powder Pistol with plus 50% damage to humans. Bashing damage increases by 50%. And hits have a chance to generate a stealth field. So we got a bit bumped there, guys. That wasn't the best spending spree that we've had. We did get bumped a bit, but I am a big fan of this. I'm not going to lie. I am a really big fan of this. I like this, and I am going to choose this as my featured weapon. So if you do want to participate in that little thing I've got going on, um, please do feel free. Please do feel free to do so. That is an absolute tongue twister. Pop in the description of the in the title of the build as a 23 dash bloody short hunting rifle. And you know if if it picks up momentum, if I start to see builds in there, I'll I'll pick the highest rated one. Have a very Merry Christmas, guys. Hope you get everything you asked for. Stay safe and uh, see you in the next one.